cracked your pieces, Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but um, here's a few updates. One, my grandmother is back home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you all for the wonderful prayers. Um, she is not the same physically, but in the spirit uh, of herself, she is. Um, it's uh, We are getting uh, assistance to help with her. And I'm helping my mother with her and everything. So um, it's going to be a long road uh, caring for her. And we are so grateful that she has come out of this accident of breaking her hip a lot better than, you know, it could have been. So um, we are really, really thank you all for the wonderful prayers. Um, second of all, I have been... Uh, you know, picking out and choosing on what I want to create and stuff. So I have some wonderful projects coming up and I had to uh, wait for a few items to come in. And one of those items I didn't come in, I went and got on sale for $3 and something. This is a six pack LED flameless tea light. So they're, they are oops, these little boogers. And since it's Halloween and fall, they have them in orange and in black. Well, I was over there on my Pinterest page, and I'm going to start this like this little series. I'm going to see how it goes, and I'm going to call it Pinterest Rehab. And um, what it is is I'm going to go on there and pick out a project and then do my version of it. And it's kind of like rehabbing the, the original. Of course, I would give credit to the original designer and with their links and stuff below, providing they are not a broken link on Pinterest. Sometimes we get in those links and we want the info, and then when we click on it, it's either no longer available or the link is broke. But I will still either uh, post a link to the Pinterest uh, pin itself or to the uh, written instruction, etc. So I saw this wonderful way to use toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls to create some spooky candles. And this one is brought to you by a blog called Thrifty Crafty Girl. And she comes with this concept and I saw it and I was like, oh yes, I want to make this, I want to try it. And I followed all her directions and everything. So, um, and I have gotten these done so far. And I'm going to make sure y'all can see this. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it and how to make it look like real wax uh, coming down on here. And you're probably going to ask me that $50 question. Well, how would you, uh, since the battery operate piece is in there well you excuse me you just take a stick and there you go you can see it see pretty cool isn't it so now I have done six different sizes and I'm going to go through with you the steps of how to do it and I'm going to tell you the measurements of all of these so get pen and paper down and uh, you can pause it right now. Go get you some pen and paper so I can tell you the sizes that I have cut these at. Okay, let me get my ruler. Okay, here we go. Uh, the first one is a standard size toilet paper roll, which is about four inches. So you can just get you one of these, and it's a standard size. So your first one is going to be four inches. Then I took another toilet paper roll. And I cut it down to three inches. This one's two and a half. The smallest one is one and a half. Then I took a paper towel roll and I cut it down the center. And I cut one at five and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut this one a little bit smaller, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So, let's get to what we do. So, you get your toilet, your toilet paper roll or your paper towel roller, and you're going to cut it down the center. And then, you're going to take your uh, tea light. Go ahead and pull that little piece of paper off so that the battery will work. 
make sure you have a lot of glue sticks because you're going to need them. Okay, you're going to try to make it as flush as possible to the candle side like that. Okay, you're going to take your glue gun. You're going to press it down like that. Could you imagine doing these for Christmas? Like uh, get the white ones and then do white candles or pink candles or whatever you want to do. And uh, shabby chic ones. Just, you know just all kinds and that glitter to them which I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next to these okay now it's flush it's glued in there so it's flush and now what you're going to do is just simply go down glue that edge down like that okay now make sure you have some glue sticks handy okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to build up some glue and then let it kind of drip, drip, drip. You will, the glue won't uh, run on its own, so you're going to have to help it. You can see there. See how I'm doing it there? Just going down like that. You want to do small ones and long ones. And, you know, to make it look like real wax is dripped down. I would say if the batteries die, like I'm proud, I was just thinking about that. If the batteries die, all you would need to do is um, just take this apart, put batteries in your candles, and redo them. That would be my suggestion. Um, I wouldn't store these in the attic. I would store these in a box with the you know stuff that you can't go in a hot environment or anything. I would just store these in a box um, until you use them again. These would make great baby shower centerpieces or, you know, just about anything that you can think of. Okay, so there we have it. As you can see, okay, I'm going to set this one aside. This one's already dried, so I'm going to show you what I'm using here. I am using, um, I love this gesso. It is by Diana Wake, Wakely. It's called Media Black Gesso. It's an artist quality gesso, and it's really thick. And let me tell you, one coat and you're done. Um, you're, if you don't have black gesso, uh, you can use regular acrylic paint, but if you do that, I think you might need to do uh, um, two or three coats. But as you can see, because it's such a thick, artist quality gesso, it covers that hot glue beautifully. And then you're going to want to kind of dab, dab, dab like that make sure you get in all of those sides and stuff um this gesso dries rather quickly um i really love it it's one of my new faves in creating
And as you can see, looks pretty good. Make sure you get all up in those little areas like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is hold that in. Then I'm going to paint the rest. These would be cute to set on a, a little tray or something, like a little um, silver tray or something, and just set them, put some flowers or pumpkins around them and really decorate up the um, decorate the piece up then go back over make sure you've got all of those areas like that and then right here like I said just pounce now she put black felt over here, but I wanted the the um, the imperfection of look of wax, so I didn't use black felt. So okay, okay, that one's done, and this one should be dry. It is. Okay, we've got them all done, and uh, I'm going to clean up my mess here just a little bit. Let me get this towel. I love working on the, these little tiles, uh, floor tiles. You get them at Lowe's because they wash right up, but... Right now, I don't have any cleaner available. So, now what I want to do is I personally want to add a little sparkle uh, to mine. Oh, well, that'll work. I'll just sparkle it. So, I'm going to lay these down like this. I'm going to let that one dry a little bit more. I'm going to lay them down like that. And I have some Lindy Stamp Gang Witches Potion Purple Starburst. This is this is one of their Halloween colors. And I want to add just a little you know, just a I think I'm gonna set them up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Make sure I don't get any on the and I just want to add a touch of the purple on here. Kind of let it soak in and give the candles a little shimmer. Like that. Ah, crash. Oh no. Did it break? No, 
well first I'll just paint it on. <laughs> I have new uh, sprayers up there on my shelf, but I'm just going to use what's on here, kind of brush it on. All this is doing is giving it a little of that spooky shimmer look to it. And, uh, you know, it just adds a little difference. And see, you can even paint just to add the shimmer to the, the top of the So you can do that. And that's all there is to it. Alright, so that is all there is to it. Possibilities are endless in the colors you can choose. Like I said, you can do shabby chic ones, you can do Halloween ones, you can do all sorts of things. You can add glitter, um, just have fun with it. And it's a simple, really cheap project to do because we, you know, really awesome and it's a really innovative way to use our toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls. There we go. And detailed photos will be at the end of the video. If you like this a video, please give me likes. Um, that helps my channel tremendously. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this uh, concept. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. and share my channel with Crafty Peeps. Um, I love meeting new people. So um, now what I forgot to do, but what you need to do, I just realized I forgot to do it. I want to cut this one down a little bit shorter. So hold on, y'all. I thought I was done. Where'd my ruler go?
much higher is this one. Okay, so we know I had you write down one at five and a half. So I'm just going to cut an inch off. No, this one's a uh, five and a quarter. Sorry, I had you write it down at five and a quarter. So I am going to cut one at I'm going to do it four and three fours. That's what I'm going to do. Four, three fours. So all you're going to do is make a mark all the way around. All right, and just take your scissor. I totally forgot to do that. All right. Okay, so, oh yeah, that's a lot better. So now, you have a beautiful stack of awesome candles that are ready to, see if I can show you, kind of like that. You know how you stack them and they look, they look really cool um, standing up like this. But um, yeah, that's it. So let me know what you think. Um, and stay tuned for more Halloween projects, ladies. And thank you again. Bye-bye.